السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شبہات کا ازالہ پیج کو سبسکرائب کریں اور بیل آئیکن دبائیں سب سے پہلے ویڈیو دیکھنے کے لیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر آنریبل رسپیکٹیڈ برادرز مے اللہ تعالیٰ گیو اس دا اسٹرینتھ اینڈ توفیق ٹو ایکٹ اپن آل ہز ڈیزائرڈ کمانڈمنٹس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہوپ یو آل آر ویل بائی دا گریس آف المائٹی اللہ اینڈ انگیج ان دا نوبل ایفرٹ آف دین مے اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ایکسپٹ آل یور سنسیئر ایفرٹس اینڈ میک اٹ اے مینس آف ریوائونگ دا وے اینڈ ایفرٹ آف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ تعالیٰ تھرو قرآن اینڈ سنہ آف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہیز گائڈیڈ دا امہ ان آل کنڈیشنز اینڈ سچویشنز دیر از نو آسپیکٹ آف لائف ان وچ اللہ تعالیٰ ہیز ناٹ گائڈیڈ اس whether these problems are individual or collective both the cause and solution of problem have been clearly explained by Allah Ta'ala whatever conditions are faced by human being those are the result of their own actions Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ The conditions are actually reflection of our actions according to the action of human being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the decisions that's why every action has got its own unique effect for example if zakat is withheld it will result in different type of loss on wealth when immodesty prevail it result in frequent earthquakes hence when it was mentioned in front of abu huraira radiyallahu an that the sinner and oppressor harm no one but only him on this abu huraira radiyallahu an replied by allah the evil effect of the oppression from the oppressor even the birds die in their nest by starvation rawahu al baihqi shohab al iman further allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran whatever corruption appears on the earth is the result of the actions of human being ظہر الفساد فی البر و البحر بما کسبت عید الناس therefore the most important thing is repentance and regret over one's sin like Nuh alayhi salam said to his follower turn back to your lord and seek forgiveness from him he will rectify your affairs and will increase blessings in your progeny and gardens surah nuh this situation is mentioned in detail in surah nuh in this time the biggest sin of the ummah is neglecting its unique responsibility of dawa the global effort of prophethood nubuwwat through which obligatory optional and sunnah come alive has been neglected hence we have to repent in the court of allah taala and seek forgiveness and make intention to make the effort of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam as objective of our life regarding this hazrat maulana yusuf sahab rahmatullahi alaihi used to say when you make this intention to achieve you will achieve what is destined for you and if you die then allah will resurrect you on the day of judgment according to your intentions so therefore to sacrifice our health and wealth according to our capacity for this noble work is the appreciation of finality of prophecy khatm e nubuwwat while doing the effort with the correct intention and will it is a collective responsibility to satisfy all group of umma at all levels so therefore considering the limit of laws of the country we should involve in the effort as much as possible in no way our work should oppose any rule and regulation of the laws of the country so keeping all this into consideration and we should make this effort with mutual consultation mashwara hence we should supplicate to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sincerity of intention and conviction of this effort for ourselves and whole ummah and make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to establish the environment of peace harmony love and affection ameen faqat wassalam bangla wali masjid markaz nizamuddin 22nd march 2020